Video Studio 2019 has a ton of great new features, specifically chosen to help you get even more professional and creative looking edits from your video projects. In this video, we'll show you some of the key new options. To learn more about individual features, jump in to our other tutorials. First up are the vastly expanded color grading options, because having fine control over the look and feel of your carefully recorded footage is one of the best ways to elevate your projects to the next level. Located in the options panel of every photo or video clip on your timeline, you'll find the usual basic options, including auto tone, white balance, the ability to assign amazing LUT profiles, and manual control over everything else. But the color options don't end here. Jump into the Tone Curve tab for full control of highlights, mid-tones and shadows, either across the color spectrum, or even for individual red, green and blue pixels in your footage. Or access HSL tuning for even more granular control over individual colors, including the click and drag tool to directly adjust colors in the preview pane of your project. Want this green to be greener without affecting the rest of the clip? No problem. Want this jacket to be a more vivid red? Easy. Another great feature in Video Studio 2019 comes within the split screen template creator with new keyframing controls. Once you have your split screen layouts created, you can now add motion to each frame. Skip ahead on the timeline and drag your dividers to where you want them to end up. Video Studio creates keyframes for each new change, whether that is position, size, border width or color or any other parameter. Another new feature can be found in the Mask Creator, using text to mask out a photo or video. I'll select Still Mask and then select the Text Mask tool and just write directly onto the clip. Next, I can center the mask and return to the timeline. Video Studio retains the original clip and adds a new masked version of the same clip onto an overlay track. So let's just turn off the original clip. And that's how easy it is to create a great looking text mask. In Video Studio 2019, we can now export video files with transparent backgrounds. We can export this text mask on our overlay track with Alpha Channel preserved. Alpha Channel is a measure of the transparency of each pixel in your clip, so all of the pure black we see in the above clip will become transparent. We just hop over to the Share tab. Only some video file types actually contain transparency data, and MOV files are one of these. Then drop down the profile and select one of the Alpha Channel video profiles and set the overlay track as the one to use for the export. Once it's exported, in a new project, I'll drag some footage onto the timeline. And we can see the MOV file we just created. Drag it onto the overlay track, and we can see just the text mask has been exported with its transparency preserved. We've also added a new collection of transitions for you to use, called Seamless Transitions. These are best used when two of your clips have similar looking areas. You'll see the first two clips on my timeline have similar skies, in the top right of the first clip and the top left of the second clip. I'll drag the right and rotation transition onto the join between the two clips, and then customize. We want to line up the top right of our first clip with the top left of our second, as this is where the transition will take place. We can customize this further with soft edges if we need to reduce any banding that appears between the two clips. The result, virtually invisible seams across the transition. Staying in the world of transitions, Video Studio also adds morph transitions. Jump into the transitions menu and use a new search feature that's available in all of the library tabs by typing morph into the search bar and drag the morph transition onto the join between the two clips. When we go to customize, we can see our start and end clips on the left with the preview on the right. Just click and drag as many points as necessary to define the morph line in both clips. The more similar the lines are, the smoother the resulting clip will be. This effect works great with horizons or clips with similar lines within them. Just move the points around the horizon and click to create more points. You can create as many points as you need and then hit preview.
For those of you that use 360 footage, we've included spherical panorama, also known as tiny planets and rabbit hole effects. With your 360 footage on the timeline, just right click and select 360 and then your footage type to spherical panorama. The default view is tiny planets, but you can easily switch it to the rabbit hole setting like this. You've also got controls for zoom and rotation and everything, including the switch from tiny planets to rabbit hole, can be keyframed. Video Studio has new capture options with multicam capture light. Click the record capture option just above the timeline and select multicam capture. Your connected sources will be displayed and you can capture two sources at a time with the option to upgrade for more. This is great for tutorials where you want to record your screen as well as your webcam or for filming from two different cameras at the same time to then easily edit together with Multicam Editor. And with a bunch of other features like stacking text and graphics into customizable titles templates, extra options in customized motion like rotating as many times as you like and moving the center point of objects and a bunch of new third-party effects, there's never been a better time to upgrade to Video Studio 2019. Give it a try today.